Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing for you. So this comes by way of Tomas Nunez. Uh, he's a channel viewer, and he reached out to me and offered to send me a couple of cool knives. So I believe these are knives from Hogtooth. Uh, I don't know anything about that brand or anything, but I've heard that they make good stuff. I think I saw uh, one of their knives on Jim's channel, Jim Skelton. Um, I forget which one. I'm using the Kaiser Brat to unbox it, and this thing is sharp and fun. I love this Kaiser Brat. Um, it's out of my norm, but just something about it, really, really nice. So what Tomas told me, ah, he's a taper, he's a taper. Uh, what Tomas told me was that these are, one of them's like older and one of them's newer. Sorry, I gotta rip through this bag here. I get it, you gotta be safe. All right, we got two. Anything else in here? No, I did ask him if he wanted me to plug anything, like his Instagram or anything, then uh, to put it in there, but I guess he he's not in it. He's not in it for subs. <laughs> um, so we have two boxes one smaller one larger uh, custom knives made in Finland cool so I guess I don't know uh, I don't know which one feels newer let's check out the small one first I guess here's a small package which makes more sense because if you're shipping from Finland or wherever um, you know it's probably a good idea to limit your package size so you can ship more this is the one I think I saw on Jim's channel uh, it's the model T very cool, a little uh, plastic or 3D printed um, tray. And then the knife slides, this slides on, very cool. Here's the knife, gorgeous looking knife. It's got a very interesting flipper tab. Ooh, hello. It says Model T right there. So are they making these? Uh, I think they're making these in house. Um, centering looks, it looks good, it's just when you look down the line, it looks a little off over here, but the tip is centered. Very cool. Long, slender clip. Yeah, it's got some flex to it, but, oh, it's a tapper. I don't love tappers, but you could bend that. Just take it off and bend it. Um, looks like you use a flathead for the pivot. And very, very small well, I don't know. They look smaller than T6s on the body screws. Very uh, thick stock, looks like. I mean, look at that. Great detent. It's got a um, CNC bevel, looks like. So I think they make these in-house, yeah. And you can see the CNC lines along the the bevel because they, they don't have a bevel grinder. They use the CNC machine to slowly thin it out down to the edge, which is really cool. That's how a lot of people do it. You'll see Grimsmo do that. Um, I think, who else does that? I think uh, American Blade Works does that. A lot of people do it. Uh, don't hold me to all that, but Ergos feels pretty good in the hand. Um, the choke up grip is pretty good. You gotta be careful because you're coming right up on that edge and this fucker is sharp. I mean, it's got a mirror edge on it. I don't know if it comes with that or if Tomas did that, but very comfortable this is nice man um thin thin all around not a guillotine but uh very smooth and tight tight in a good way like i don't feel any lucy mcgoosey in there lucy mcgoosey man i like this nice flipper yeah ow could use some jimping maybe there's no jimping but it's got a, it's got a point here but the way your finger hits it it's not like ouchy point like uh on a sharp eye design it's nice left-handed let's see lock bar i can kind of do it let's see if the lock bar is an issue yeah it kind of binds it up a little bit i gotta try to stay off it it can't go to the pivot it's just a little awkward so not the best lefty on this one but it would work it would work Nice drop point, slender drop point, slender handle. Very cool. So let's check out this other one. I think this is the older one then. 
Because he mentioned something about the detent. I think he said the detent on this one is going to be updated on the newer ones to be more like that, maybe? Or vice versa. I don't know. We're going to see. Hoghouse Knives. Uh, oh, no. This is brand new. So that was the older one. Interesting. 323. This is the Veli or Veli. Veli. I don't know. Thai blue, Thai blue, RWL 34. That's always a custom thing. It's interesting. Our warranty will cover all and any manufacturing detect defects for life. Certificate of authenticity. There's a hog. Another very cool case. Established 2001. Bigger knife. So this one I assume you could flick. Same uh, CNC bevel grind. It looks really nice. You, you might not be able to see the lines, but there's little lines all the way down. Definitely can get a full grip on this guy, no problem. Again, this one you can choke up. Same thing, just be weary because there's no edge termination, really. It goes right into the plunge. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Sharpening these might be tough. Um, let's see, this might be a dropper. Yeah. Ooh, we hear that click. Dead center. Now, this one's centered down the line. I like that. Same kind of flipper tab. No jimping sticks out. Pokey. But works just as good. Doesn't hurt. Ow. It got me a little bit there on the cuticle. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's very nice. How are these not way more popular? I'm curious, because they're custom made, right? CNC made in-house, and they have great action. They have a hole to flick and a flipper tab. Remind you of anything? Arius? Uh, I'm not saying it's an Arius, but very nice. Lefty. I'm guessing the lock bar is an issue. Yeah, I was on the clip there, but I can do it. Damn, these are good, dude. Detent's definitely crispier on this one, but uh, this one wasn't bad. Can I fail it? Probably. Yeah. Okay, I see what he means. It's almost less the detent, more just you can hear. There's a little bit of something in there. Making it tighter, like I was saying earlier. Let's check for play. Nothing. nothing so both of them are tight and solid tapper nope no tap this is man these are nice i'd say on both of them the designs aren't like yelling at me um a lot of times i you know what i mean like i'll see a knife and be like damn that's for me these aren't doing that for me um but they're extremely well made. The quality is ridiculous. Um, I don't think there's a steel insert, but let me check. So you have a uh, ceramic ball inset, nice big ball, that's what she said. It looks to just be tie on steel. No, uh, no insert in there. looks like the same thing here so don't hold me to that but it doesn't look like they have inserts um it says vli or vli right there um and these are from finland i don't know who the uh designers are i don't know if it's a famous designer that i would know um but these are really good uh so i hope to see more from them uh as we go forward because i really the only time i've seen them before is on jim's channel and that was it. You'd think they would get some more press for making fantastic knives like this. Uh, they should come to Blade Show and show these off. I mean, these are fantastic. So thank you to Tomas Nunez for sending these my way and, and giving me a chance to check out Hogtooth Knives. I'm definitely going to um, uh, do 
dedicated videos for these. So I'll either do one video and review both desktops. So you can see them better or I'll do separate ones. We'll figure it out. But yeah, these are awesome. Um, there's two, uh, there's like two holes up on the inside. You can see one there and then one there. And I don't know what that's for, like a stop, like another stop pin location or I mean, it wouldn't make any sense. I don't know how that would work. I don't know, maybe it's just a locating hole or something, but yeah. I'd like to see this one in a smaller size. Um, that would be cool, but both are great. So here you go, there's the Model T and the Villi, I don't know how to say it, sorry, from Hogtooth Knives. Uh, thank you so much, Tomas, and shout out to Hogtooth Knives. I'll try to link what I can down below. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.